telling me that you getting bitched because you follow your class. What's wrong with you, man? That's what you're wrong with. I've been going hard. I'm trying to make sure I get these grades. I'm trying to play this game for the team. That's not what she been saying. You just focus on these girls. What's happening? Look, I'm doing the best I can, man. All right? Man, get it together. Uh, Don't help. This is the man I'm looking for. Can I talk to you for a minute? Hey, what's up, folks? How things been going with the two girls, man? Huh? Going pretty well. I think I got a deal with last thing. Well, I've got a great report from your professor here. You've got a 68% in the class. What's wrong, son? Is is tutoring not helping? Coach, I've been giving it my all. I seriously been trying my best. Yeah. I understand. If you can't make the grades, I'm going to be forced to bench you for the season over. Come on, coach. You can't do that. That's homecoming day. You know I'm a team captain. I got my whole family coming down here. You got to do something for me. Seriously, coach. I'm sorry, son. If you can't make the grades, I'm going to be forced to bench you. You're a student athlete, and academics come before basketball. Use this time wisely. Maybe some family time is what you need. Family time? Yeah, family time. Mother, father, sister, yeah, brother. Hey, coach, I'll talk to you later. Ladies, welcome to Gamma Gamma Gamma's Sorority Incorporated's Informational. Thank you for your interest in our sorority. Gamma 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 was founded on the campus of Xavier University by 18 amazing women. The chapter on this campus was founded by six lovely women as well. Letitia. Good evening ladies. My name is Letitia Parker and I am the president of Tri Gamma Sorority Incorporated. We were founded on the three principles of academic excellence, sisterhood, and service. Here on this campus, we uphold and live by those three principles. We are more than a social organization. We help out in a community to bring forth positive change. We volunteer at hospitals and homeless shelters, in in the classrooms. All right, I'm gonna catch up with y'all a little later. What's up, bro? What do you want? I understand I deserve that. I was just coming by to apologize about yesterday. I had so much going on, I had a lot on my mind. Coach on my back, phone not catching the charge. Bro, bro, just like, bro, come on, save the excuses. It's not even that important. Me and you, we're only half brothers. We don't even have an obligation to one another. I understand why you feel that way, bro. But you gotta understand where I'm coming from. Understand finish. what? Look, man, it's not even that important. Not to sound like a female or anything, but bro, you had me waiting in that restaurant for hours yesterday, looking like a straight clown. If you didn't have any intention on coming, you shouldn't have opened your mouth and asked. I did. You just not understand anything I'm saying right now, man. Look, man, I was just trying to establish some type of brotherly relationship, but obviously that was a mistake. I know I tweaked, but you acting like a female, seriously. All I was trying to do was have a grown man conversation with you. Can I please do that with you, little bro? You know what? Just get to me later. Man, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Don't put your hands on me. Look, all I want to do is just talk to you, bro. We have nothing to talk about. Darnell James Jr. Seriously? Now there is a sign-in sheet going around. Please fill it out and return it to me or one of my lovely sisters. Excuse me, miss. If the person you're texting is more important than Trigamma, you can leave. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. I hope so for your sake, because Trigamma comes second to none. Yes? Hi, I just want to know, what are the GPA requirements? Our GPA requirement is a 3.0 and higher. All right. Thank you. Any more questions? Yes. What are you guys' pledging process like? Whoa, whoa. Tri Gamma Sorority Incorporated is a non-hazing organization. This is true. This is true. Now, Ship, is there anything else you would like to say before I close out? No, I'm finished. Is there any more questions for any of you? No? 
Well then, good luck, and thank you for coming to our information. Hello. Hello. Are we ready to stop playing games so we can get this study session on? Because I really don't have the time. Damn, I wasn't even calling on that, man. Then what are you calling me for? Man, it's cool. I, I just got a lot on my mind, but I think I'll find somebody else to talk to, man. Bye. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry about being such a bitch lately. It's just, I've really been having a lot of stuff going on today. Let's just meet around 7 p.m., okay? Cool. Thank you, Stace. I appreciate it for real. All right. Hey, Stacey, we need to talk. Leaving my meeting was very inappropriate. Okay, well, Tisha. All right, have a great night. You too. Hey, Stacey. Hey, girl. Good to see you again. Glad you came. Okay. Thank you. You You too. Bye. Oh, hey. Um, I'm really sorry about that earlier. It's okay. What's your name? I'm Denise Rutherford. I'm a sophomore year in the nursing program. Oh, pretty mad was my studies in undergrad. That's really good. Um, take down my number. I'm actually a tutor. I can help you. Oh, thank you so much. I'm going to be calling you because this semester has been so rough for me. Okay. No problem. 705 1789. Thank right. you. No problem. Yo, what up? What's going on, man? It's good, bro. It's really not a cover coming up. Hey, it looks good, man. Real good. <laughs> I know it looks good. I always do. I just want to see if we made enough progress so I can see if I'm looking good. Hey, well, it looks a little rough right now because it's a mixed drive. But for the most part, I think it looks dope. Damn, man. I thought you said it ain't done. Bro, they only get famous off the cover art alone. Hey, you know I'm a part of it. I think it's after this, I think this is abstract as your music. Oh word? So you heard my rhymes? Yeah, yeah. You ain't got a lot. Tell you what, I'll bring you a copy of my mixtape later. Sounds good. Now, I ain't conceited or nothing, but you might want to brace yourself before you press play. So you got rhymes like that? Bro. I got rhymes for days. As a matter of fact, I can give you a little preview right now. Now, you do this for everybody. Taking it all the way to the top. This is where I won't stop. Real like it, real ass. Olympic can test. Gotta fan me with no mask. Mute to your whackness, but destroy the flask. Going hard till I'm six feet. Never waving their flag to defeat. These rhymes make it a little hard for me to be beat. Go so hard, they swam from the street. Lines are so good, but I swear it ain't sweet. <laughs> yes, prolific. I cannot so, wait uh, until you perform properly. Man, you already know I'm gonna shut that down. But I'm gonna get up out of here, man. I gotta head to the studio anyway. Nice thing. Hey, thank you. Hey, why are you late? I am so sorry. I had to get my hair done. It's all good. So, what do you think? I think you look very professional on it. Well, thank you. All right, well, I'm gonna need you to stand in front of the backdrop and tell me what type of lift you're going for. Okay. Okay, well, I want some pictures to make it look like I'm campaigning for president. And some to make people think trophy wife. Okay, we can, I'll see if we can lift that up. Right there, Come to, all right. So you're going for the trophy wife type? <laughs> no, sir. I have always been independent. I mean, I don't mind a guy taking care of me, but I like to handle my own. You must like those trophy white types. Well, honestly, I prefer a girl who's as passionate about working on her room as I am. But I do respect a woman's choice, so if she wants to be a trophy wife, one right there. I have no problem with that. Alright, we're good. Cool. So is this a career thing, or is it for fun? Yeah, it is. I've done this ever since I was little, and people started telling me that I was good at it, and then I started getting paid for it. So ever since then, it's just been history. But what I really do for fun is watch old scary movies. You know the ones from the 80s where everything's made out of paper mache? Oh, really? I love scary movies. What? So you don't believe me? I mean, girls aren't really into the scary movies. Anymore. So you're gonna sit here and stereotype me? All girls are not afraid of scary movies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not even stereotyping. I'm just saying, mathematically, the average girls don't like scary movies. Well, I'm not your average girl. Well, you haven't proved anything yet. <laughs> what do you mean, prove? I'll tell you what. Have you seen that movie, The Thing? The Thing? Which version? The 50s, 80s, or the recent one? Okay, that was impressive. The 80s version. I want to see how much you know. <laughs> We're prepared to be amazed. We can have movie at my house. I'll buy the movie. 
All right, sounds good. So when can we do it? So, um, I'll call you. All right, it's cool. Okay, thank right, you, nice, Q. Nice work. See you later. Yo, no, lift right. Just in time, man. Take a seat. You got a call from the label today. They say. They talk about dropping it. What? They not feeling it. Matt, I mean, prolific. The stuff you've been putting out lately is decent. But they need it to be hot. They need you to start putting your soul into it. They don't understand your swag yet. So I'm going to need you to start spitting. But I am. And don't stop. Like I said, they not used to your swag yet. So I'm gonna need you to go hard, start putting in double takes. Hey Camille, they like you. They like your style. But they're not convinced that you're convinced. See, we wanna see you do your thing, but you keep giving us Camille the college student. We need to see Camille the vocals. Okay. Look guys, I hate to be the bear of bad news. I know that y'all talented. But y'all gotta show them that y'all talented too. Look, I gotta take this. I gotta get a label, the project deadline. But I wanna see y'all naming them flashing lights. And I wanna make sure they give us every chance we need to make that happen. All right. All right, bro. Hello. Don't tell me you crying over that. No, I'm not crying. I'm just a little disappointed. I thought I was giving them my all, but- Let me stop you right there. Don't ever try to down yourself, girl. I know you was doing your thing. I almost started singing on the track with you. But I think I know where he coming from. When you're here, you're just a college student. I want to see that person that you keep hiding from me. I mean, I want to hear you sing like you love it. As for me, I just got to get back on track. Yeah. It's time for the grind. I ain't trying to be a one-hit wonder. Hi, right. gotta bust out these tracks. I won't sleep until I'm on top. I should write that down. I might as well stay too. You don't have to, I just gotta- Stop right there. You know you can't do anything without me. Is that so? Hold on, please. Hey, Kim. Hey, Leticia. What's going on? How are you? Pretty good, yeah? I'm great. So, yeah. how's your day? Hey, it was pretty smooth. High classes all morning and then a photo shoot out there. That's what's up. How about yours, though? Well, I had some classes, too, and we knew the tri Oh, uh, How was that? That was okay. Yeah. Um, so, I just got home not too long ago, and I started mm -hmm. cooking. I hope you like steak. Hey, anything that's not being passed through a window in the box is all right with me. <laughs> so I'm assuming you don't know how to cook. No, cook a little something, something. Whatever, just like the rest of these guys on campus. Yeah, I think what you cooking tonight, baby, is a new pickup line or something. Nah, I don't think so. So, right. what's up with this movie tonight? Well, I got this new scary movie. You know you can't handle that movie. <laughs> you can't handle it. All right, just don't try to hold on to me when you get scared. Whatever. <laughs> Hello? Hey, I'm outside. Oh, so you decided to call this time, huh? Yeah, it's open. Travis, you really be trying me. I ain't come over here to argue with you. Well, what exactly did you come over here for? To talk about us. What about us? I'm listening. Look. I apologize for showing up to your apartment and not giving you your space. I do realize that you have a lot going on, and I have to respect that. Hold up. It's a kill call. I talked to him earlier, and he seemed a little off. What the fuck? You always sexing that nigga. You need to be worried about this relationship for your ass end up single. Or better yet, how about you going fuck that nigga since you cry so much? Don't snatch anything from me. You sound insecure and childish as fuck. You know Akil is just my friend. And it seemed like we both weren't about the wrong shit. Cause whole time I'm talking to you, you too busy playing that stupid game. Hmm. Don't grab me. You always so quick to accuse me of cheating. 
because that's what you do. Don't think I don't hear all the rumors. Every day it's always somebody or something new. So the next time you accuse me of cheating, think about it. I can see this is a touchy situation for you. So let me leave before this relationship ends for no other reasons. Call me when you get your shit together. Until then, don't. Bye. I didn't call your ass over here in the first place. She's about to go in there. Don't go. You scared, aren't you? You're not scared. Alright. Let's get back to you. Alright, we go. Hello? Akil, where are you? I need to talk to you. Yeah, hey, what's, what's, what's up? Me and Travis just got into it. He know everything to sabotage this relationship be up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're aware. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Um, alright, I'm on my way. <laughs> Letitia, I'm very sorry. Something came up with one of my friends. I'm gonna have to see about that. You know, see Jack Aborna. Uh... It's okay. Go check on your friend. Sorry about that. Thanks for dinner, though. Are you still awake? Of course. I told you, I'm just as energetic as you are. I'm just messed in my eyes. Right. Energetic. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Travis, what are you doing here? Why haven't you been answering your phone? What the fuck have you been doing? <laughs> Travis, baby, we just been working on music. The record company was thinking about cutting us out. We just wanted to- I don't give a damn! You answer when I call you! Look, bro, it was my fault. I just needed some- Who the fuck are you? Travis, just calm down. He's just been working on music with me. Music, huh? Yes. So you gonna lie to me in my face? Hey, bro, it's not even like that. We're just friends, and I can't let you put your hands on my friends like that. You don't have a say, white boy. Camille is my girl. Camille. I can't let him treat you Don't like touch her! Man, don't touch me! Stop, just stop it, both of you! I'm not going to let you fight Travis. Travis, baby, I'm sorry. i just been a little overwhelmed with work. Baby, please don't fight, Matt. You better be lucky, white boy. She just saved your life. Nah, old boy, she just deal. saved yours. Matt, stop it! I'm not going to let you fight Travis. If this is how it's going to be, we can't work together. I quit. I'm sorry. Let's go, Camille! Oh, yeah, man. What's taking you so long? So, what is it you need to talk about? You sound real, you know, busy. What's up? Who are you trying to get me drunk, alright? Oh, boy, I don't need alcohol to have you. <laughs> Anyways, how's your day? <sighs> it was long. At class, sessions, chaptering. This goes on. Busy, 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 I see, huh? You never tell me stories about how you kicking and like going out, or even just relaxing. Man. You need to take your own advice, Mr. Everything, okay? Every time I see you, you either run for practice, the class, this, that. <laughs> I mean, the grind never stops, right? Exactly. Can we share the same mouth? I won't rest and relax until I have six figures behind my bank account. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but for real, what's going on? Man, life. You know, coach is still right my ass about my career. And he should be, Darnell. You are a senior. You need to start focusing on your grades, okay? There's more to life and college than basketball. I mean, real talk. If you don't get an office soon, you're going to have to get a real job. No man, there's so much stuff happening right now. You know, I got big tests to study for. Then I got homecoming again to practice for, you know, so it's like I'm cramming and practicing all at the same time. I mean, if you don't pass this test, there is no homecoming. You're gonna be sitting on the sidelines with the rest of us. No man, coach just picked the wrong time to get on board with me. For real. Again, this is the perfect time, the best time for you. You need to grow up. You entered a whole new phase in your life. Man, it's like everything's happening at one time. I got coach on my back. I got the team and the school depending on me. But I can handle both of those. But it's just, me and my little brother got into an argument today. He said some stuff to me that I really don't even understand right now. Wait, 
A little brother? Shit, I ain't no either. It's been a couple years, though. My life has not been the same since, for real. Explain. Well, I don't know if you know this about me, but my father is Darnell James of the Indiana Razorbacks. Oh, that explains it. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, finish your story. Let me find out you've been stalking me. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but long story short, um, my parents have been married for about 25 years, you know. High school sweethearts. Aww. Everybody thought they were the perfect couple. Well, so I thought. Not until my father got hit with a paternity suit on Christmas Day when I was a kid. Damn. Christmas Day. Not the perfect gift to open up, huh? Mm. Well, just picture this picture. We um sitting around a tree, opening our presents, and we got door knock. We all thinking it's just for more family arriving, of course, but there was a woman standing there with a thick brown envelope. She has my mama saying it was addressed to her. Out of curiosity, of course, my mother opens it. I'm right there in that living room. My mother just bust out into tears. My father, of course, being a man of the house, Gets up and try to console my mother. As soon as he reaches for her arm, she snatches away and starts yelling hysterically. He didn't know what was going on. So he just reaches down, picks up that letter. He reads it. He just tries to confront her. But, but the, the damage is already done. And me being a little kid, I wanted to know what was going on, you know? So, pick up the line. I read it. Hell. He just snatches the letter away from me. But the damage was already done, you know? Like, the man that. The man that I, I call a superstar. The man that was my hero. He just became a villain. And, and I, I didn't know what to do. Like, and, and, you know, like, everybody on campus, that, like my father, on and off of the field. Yeah. I got this brother. You know, I have this brother. And I know I gotta be here for him.
next time on The U. To welcome you to I Got A Story To Tell. Honestly, anything that's happened, we still family. You still my little brother. Now I hope you ladies have gotten well acquainted because tonight will be your first mission to Sludges. Maybe I just need a break. I miss you so much, baby. Okay, baby. I love you. Love you too. I'm so sorry. I'll be here for you whenever you're hurt. DJ, I'm praying.